Well, we're at our final stop, the Ancient Culture Street. Honestly, when I think of ancient culture, I think of museums and the like. But I do remember, even on my first time into Beijing, it was their term for a shopping district or place or what have you. I think something's been lost in translation, to be honest. One very odd thing about this is that we're being led around by our tour guide. If she wants us to buy things, we have to be allowed to go and visit the shops on our own. So I'm not entirely certain about motivations here. Okay, that pretty much explains it. He was basically directing us to a specific intersection so that uh, when we go up and down this thing, we will be able to find our way back both to the intersection and then to the bus as well. So, in the meantime, however, we're going to take a few pictures of the place as we walk through it. <laughs> We've got a few people taking pictures of us in turn because obviously a whole group full of foreigners walking through here is a different experience for some of the denizens of the place, I suppose. <laughs> Meanwhile, I'm looking around and going, well, again, you know, the clothing that they have here is mostly women's. I know a few people who would look good in a keep howl, but <laughs> I'm not one of them. Then there are certain anime things here, and is that a fine little German deal behind, oh my gosh. Well, never mind with that. Still quite a lot to see here. And I can't even really describe what it is I'm seeing as, once again, there's very little written in Latin characters. I can barely notice. At this point, I've figured out the characters, or at least the combination of characters, that represent things like Beijing, or Danqing, and so forth. But beyond that, I'm at something of a loss. But certainly when it comes to stores, I can see the wares, but I can't see the actual um, you know, any descriptions or anything like that. Oh my goodness, they've even got new ones here. Ah, some in our crew is, are being interviewed here, which is a bit of a challenge considering that they're all speaking English. Let's see what's going on. And now we kind of get into an open area. And I'm not entirely sure what it is we're looking at here. I will say some of the food stalls here seem to be closed as of yet. Or maybe they've shut down. I don't know since lunch is over. So there's that.
I apologize for not having that much to say at the moment. Because right now I'm still trying to take it all in and see what it is that I'm looking at. And the foodstuffs are of no interest to me after having had lunch. And as far as souvenirs go, nothing particularly grabs me. As usual. I, it's very typical and it doesn't help that since I have no currency and I'm not entirely sure that any place actually takes credit cards or if I even want any more of a digital footprint that I already have here in the PRC. Um, all I can do is wander around a bit and talk and take things from there. Someday I'm going to look on this while I'm editing it and go, oh wow, that was kind of cool and I, I wasn't paying any attention to that while I was doing that. But I have to admit, I'm not a big fan of some of the ones that are walking around this or that town and you get no context other than what you're seeing. At least I've got a little bit of narration going, for better or for worse. Granted, I can't comment knowledgeably about anything here. Less so here than if I was doing this in Japan. But, here we have it. Also, I have to be a little considerate as to not run into anybody. And I think that I'm just about ready to reach the end of this thing. So we'll have seen just about everything on this main street. We'll cross under this one. One more set of Chinese lanterns and then we'll be pretty much done. Which again, considering how little time we have, we need to get back to the bus by 25 after in order to get back to the ship by 3. So, and there we are. We have made it to the end. <laughs> <laughs> and I'm almost getting in the way of somebody else taking photos. So I think I'd better turn around, head back, and see if there's anything else yet to see. There are things along here that look very pretty, but they serve no purpose for me or anyone who I've heard from. So, um, yeah, as usual. And the limited amount of time to dicker about how much something costs or whether I even want it in the first place just kind of renders the whole... <laughs> The whole process of being here moot, other than just seeing what's here and just taking it all in. Let's see, I can still get a shot of the gate. And again, my fellow travelers who are being interviewed for one thing or another. It'd be interesting to find out what kind of questions they were being asked and what they have to say. I don't know that I'm gonna get the opportunity to see any of that. As it is, we're down to about seven or eight minutes before we need to be back on the bus, so yeah. A shopping arcade is one thing, but a 
kind of need the time to actually shop. And that sometimes means actually just looking at something and going, oh, I do want this or I don't. Since I've made up my mind right off the start that I'm not interested, it makes the trip up and back a lot easier. At the same time, it also renders it somewhat pointless. Still, it's definitely a sight I don't see. I'm not sure I've seen anything like this in Chinatown anywhere. So, I'll leave it at that. Continue walking my way through here and let y'all absorb it behind me as I walk past. I really had no intention of being interviewed, but it's kind of like if somebody asks me a question, I'm going to answer, and sometimes that gets a little bit too much. Um, almost missed my bus because of this. Uh, it inveigled me into helping blow up a pig, and then they started asking me that much more about Tianjin and China and all that. So. Unique. Unique. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, unfortunately I have to eat it. It's it's candy. So yeah, it's not a it's not a proper souvenir. Yep. <laughs> but well, that was different. Um, and I'm sorry I didn't have footage of that because I'm busy on someone else's camera. I don't know if I'll ever see that footage, which is a bit of a shame, but oh well. <laughs> I still think it's honey based and it's very unusual to say the least. I can't say I quite got the same piece about Jiaoxin, but uh, all things considered, that's probably just as well. These camera crews probably put you on a list of some sort, I shouldn't wonder. Still, it was an experience and I'm glad to have had it. Anyway, glad I came. I'm glad I'm on my way out, like I said. So, it's an experience, and it's nice to be able to see things I never will again. But I think I'm good to go at this point, if nothing else. I'm not sure it's doing my throat any favors. So on to the fourth leg of this journey, and on to Singapore, eventually. I've got a long way to go before I get there. A lot of things to see before I get there, too. So here we go. Keep an eye on me, honey. Wish me luck. I'm gonna do it.